Morning YouTube. Um, Pete's power wall is moving forward very, very slowly uh, at a snail's pace. Uh, we've got some things to overcome. Uh, we've got some things in order which are slowing us down. But um, this Monday gone, uh, I started uh, the process of discharging and charging cells again. I, if you if you followed me for a while, I had a go before, and I got very disheartened with the whole thing um, when I lost a couple of packs. But we're going to go again and uh, see what we can manage. Right, my little 16 cell power pack uh, covered in TP4056 boards has been halved in capacity because we had an accident a couple of weeks back where we reverse polarity the pack and uh, blew up the buck converters. So it can only charge 8 cells but in singles or 16 in parallel if there's two still welded together. All charging for this project has been done off grid so far and it will stay that way off grid. Um, we are having some problems. Uh, we're coming into British winter time which means uh, less solar power coming in. Um, <laughs> So, uh, and, and cells don't like uh, the cold. Some cells uh, won't take, won't accept the charge or won't give out the capacity that they have stored if they're cold. So I'm gonna move this indoors once I've uh, um, refitted it with new <laughs> um, buck converters. We've got a little bit of progress here. We've actually managed this week to harvest 36 good cells from um, uh, extra laptop batteries that I have in stock. Um, and we've managed 36 good cells above 1500 milliamps so we're going to have some odd, odd size packs here uh, everything is going to go into a pack because I have a shortage, shortage of cells to start with and we've managed to come up with 14 duff cells so we're at a 3 to 1 ratio at the moment which isn't too sad but what we're going to do is we're going to be putting all the 2 amp hour and above cells in one pack and all the lesser cells are going to go into uh, another pack but we're going to uh, have extra cells in that pack to keep the capacity up to the 2 amp cells pack so you can imagine there's going to be different sizes of packs just to get us up and running to begin with. Right and to go with the uh, lack of cells that I have available to myself I've actually built a little rig uh, where there's, there's three XT60s here and then the other way around we've got another three XT60s and then back to the original way we've got another three XT60s. It's not actually wide I'll do a video on this when it comes to the time but what we're going to do is we're going to add a pack there miss two, add a pack there, miss two, add a pack there and as we get an extra three packs we'll plug it in to boost our capacity and once we've got nine good packs what we do is we'll capacity test each pack and then drop the two worst packs uh, so we've got seven to make a 24 volt system um, unfortunately most of my stuff is set up to run off 12 volts so we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it uh, and maybe have to spend some money I'm not planning on spending any money for now on this project everything that I have uh, to get something running uh, is either been bought already or is <laughs> on its way uh, but I'm not going to spend any more money until I have to uh, until I've guarantee I can get the cells the charger should be sorted for this we're going to be using Electrodacus's SBMS60 um, I'm just having some teething troubles with it at the moment in the uh, 36 amp hour lithium ion phosphate pack due to it dropping out um, when one of the cells uh, hit rock bottom so I'm just trying to figure out slowly what's happened to that but what I do have available to me to sort of boost my um, uh, plan <laughs> before we go too far is, is basically I've got some packs ready made that are made from other projects that have been in storage that I have checked uh, still holding 4 to 4.1 volts uh, I did have some packs which are indoors which are, have been split down for testing because there's duff cells and the voltage would drop down to about 3.5 so we're just trying to find the duff cells within them um, these uh, three red packs are sort of 1500 milliamp cells so that's going to give us a good start uh, the two packs there are 2 amp hour cells they're 2 amp hour cells they're 2 amp hour cells so we've got a good running start with this uh, I've just got to try and get a supplier for more cells uh, and here lies my little bot bottleneck at the moment we've got Right, now here lies one of the two bottlenecks we've got at the moment. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half battery packs left to dismantle and test. Uh, although I'm doing them uh, one or two at a time, as we've got plenty of cells here to charge still. And these cells need to be 
uh, tested maybe in a week's time to see if I've actually managed to kick out the bad cells. Um, and the lonely battery discharger that I have uh, is, is working hard. I'm actually taking it to work with me. It's sitting in the van and uh, changing the cell. So if you can imagine, say, seven cells a day maybe I'm testing. Maybe. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35 since Monday. Got 36 good cells. Maybe I tested more than seven cells a day, but um, all comes down to this lonely little charger working all day, every day. And as a result, being plugged in and plugged out, I've actually uh, ruined the US, micro USB port on it, and I've had to solder it on and hot glue it to to absolute <laughs> absolutely make sure that it doesn't come unsoldered. And as a, I broke the pin, so there's, there's a lot of hot schmoo on there, and uh, it, is, it is still going. And uh, this one is probably going to hit over 2 amp hours, I think. 3.5 volts, 1.2 1 amp hours. Unfortunately, this meter doesn't actually measure it to three decimal places, but, you know, near as 10 milliamps is good enough for me, I guess. Um, so, yeah, we, I'm waiting for battery holders. I'm waiting for, uh, oh, I've got some more XC60s. Um, I'm waiting for an Opus uh, battery charger discharger. Uh, I'm just going to get the one for now. Um, don't want to overspend and then realize I can't get hold of any more laptop cells and uh, I, I just got to get these through but um, British uh, winter time is is uh, it's on its way uh, got to look after the batteries I got anyway thank you for watching please subscribe comment and rate and I'll see you in my next video cheers